So, we survive with Mikey on islands in the middle of a lava ocean. Our task is to prove whose island is better using all the things we can get our hands on. I'm sure I'll come out a winner in this fight. You're wrong. I'm gonna win this fight even though your island looks more favorable. We'll see about that. Let's begin our battle and see which of us is better able to survive these conditions. I have a good chance of winning this contest. Hey, JJ, there's something weird under my tree. Wait, it's a skeleton? Of course it could be worse on a dry island like this. Somebody here probably couldn't handle the conditions, but I can handle it. Skeleton, you say? Well, Mikey, maybe it's a sign that you should give up. Ah! Oh no, not again. A spider jumped out of the tree. Oh, gross, it's coming right at me. <laughs> Mikey, you didn't see that coming, did you? These aren't your average mobs. Maybe that spider is the skeleton's protector. Looks like your island really is full of surprises. All right, I'm gonna go do some construction. So, the foundation of the house is almost ready. JJ, look over here. This spider is my new guardian. If anyone tries to come near my island, they will be in for a nasty surprise. Mikey, are you serious? You trapped a spider in a cage? That's your idea of a pet. Ha, you're a real monster tamer. Well, JJ, everyone works with what they've got. That's right. So for the moment, I'll go to the mine. Hopefully I'll be able to dig up a lot of resources or maybe even find some diamonds. If I can find the diamonds, I can create something really powerful. Wow, what luck. Five diamonds, some coal and iron ore, a great haul. Hey, what happened here? My tree, someone cut it down. As I recall, I certainly didn't touch that tree. I only cut down the neighboring trees. That's odd, maybe I just forgot. That can't be right though. We need to look at other parts of the island. There's obviously something wrong here. There was definitely someone on my island. There was something strange going on by the lake too. Wait, what are these seedlings on Mikey Island? You want to explain something to me, buddy? Oh, JJ, you're back. While you were busy at the mine, I decided to do some landscaping on my island. And your wood just happens to be the right material for the job. Hmm, so you thought I had plenty of resources? Okay, I admit it was a tricky move. Now I don't have wood, but I do have diamonds and iron. Well, my house is finally ready. Built of sturdy wood with cozy windows and a strong roof. I'm sure even the strongest wind or rain won't be able to damage it. What do you think, Mikey? My house is a masterpiece. I don't disagree, JJ. Your house looks great. But look at my creation. I built a house out of the ground. It may not be as fancy as yours, but it blends in with the landscape and camouflages perfectly. Wait, Mikey, are you seeing this? The volcano is erupting. The lava is flowing towards our islands. This is not a joke. We have to do something. <gasps> yeah, I can see that's bad. The lava could easily set our houses on fire and destroy everything we've been working on. My house made of earth can certainly withstand the heat, but wood. JJ, you need to do something, and fast. It could be a disaster. I must find a way to protect my home. We must act before the lava reaches the islands. Let's forget our competition for a while and think about how to save our islands. Lava doesn't forgive mistakes. No, not again. My tree is on fire. It's a nightmare. I have to stop this fire or my whole house will be reduced to ashes. Uh-oh, JJ, I'm on fire myself. This is worse than I thought. We have to do something before I burn up. I have to protect my house now. Glass is what's gonna do it. It doesn't burn. I'm gonna put glass over my house to keep it safe from the fire. JJ, I hope you find a way to save your tree. The fire is almost under control. Whew, I did it, but it won't last long. If the volcano keeps erupting, it could happen again. I can't risk my house again. Okay, we need to take immediate action. Ice and snow bombs should help. If I can cool my island and put out the fire early, I may be able to save both the house and the tree. You're right, JJ. We need to think of ways to prevent more fires. I have no choice but to wait and hope that the glass holds. Take action, JJ. You're the only one who can stop this chaos now. I won't let the lava destroy everything I've built. These ice blocks and snow bombs should help us. I'll build an ice barrier around my island. We will not let the volcano win this battle. That's the spirit, JJ. The ice barrier is a great idea. If anyone can save these islands, it's you. Come on, buddy. Let's show this volcano who's boss. The lava is coming. We must cool the island immediately or all will be lost. These ice blocks should work. JJ, your plan is working. The ice is holding back the lava and the fire is slowly dying down. But the lava won't stop. 
It's still coming closer. I need to do something too. Hang on, Mikey. Snow bombs are great for fire, but we need more defense. I need to get some of those. No, not again. The volcano's erupting again. And what's that? Magma cubes? This just keeps getting worse and worse, Mikey. Magma cubes? They're dangerous. These creatures can set fire to anything they touch. Not only do we have to fight the lava, but now we have to fight them. There's no time to waste. We must prepare for battle. We can't let the magma cubes destroy everything we've salvaged. Let's create barricades and fortify our islands. But what do we use to fight magma cubes? Ordinary tools may not be able to handle them. We have to come up with something powerful to stop them. Maybe snow bombs would work against them. All right, magma cubes, get ready for a surprise. I've got something you're not gonna like. It's time to create defensive turrets. Wow, JJ, a turret? That's genius. It'll be able to stop the magma cubes before they get near our island. How did you do it so fast? When it comes to defense, I'm always ready. This turret will fire continuously at the magma cubes. They won't even realize what's happened. But one turret might not be enough. I'll make another one so they definitely won't get through. Now we have a double defense. Those magma cubes won't last long. But just in case, I'll be throwing snow bombs at them too. Let's cool these hot guys off with snow bombs. Come on, Mikey, let's go. Take that, magma cubes. Your fire doesn't stand a chance against our ice. Ice bombs are the perfect weapon against you. The third turret is ready. They won't get through now. Those magma cubes have no idea what's waiting for them. The snow bombs and turrets are working great, JJ. Look, they're starting to fall apart. Keep it up, we're gonna make it. We won't stop until the last magma cube is gone. Those turrets are our bargaining chip. They'll keep them from reaching our homes. I'll build a wall of iron blocks to create additional defenses. It'll hold them off until you come up with something. These turrets keep them at bay, but I need something to protect my island. Maybe I can make something from improvised means. If I had more resources, Turrets, snow bombs, and our efforts have done their job. Just a little bit more, and our island will be safe again. While you have some time, try to think of something. Maybe we can gather some materials from your island. Wood, rocks, something to protect yourself. In the meantime, my wall will keep them away from you. My wall is almost complete. Now those magma cubes will definitely not be able to get through. I'll keep building to maximize the strength of the island. The magma cubes are on my island. They're stomping all over everything and burning everything. I can't keep them at bay much longer. The higher, the safer. Those magma cubes can't jump that high. I'll be able to avoid their attack until I think of something else. That's great, Mikey. You've chosen the right path. You stay upstairs, I'll continue to reinforce the wall. If the magma cubes try to break through, I'll stop them. I made a platform, but I still need something to fight back. Hopefully you can hold them off while I figure out what to do next. Don't worry, I can handle it. Just don't panic. If anything, we'll find a way to get you additional resources. In the meantime, stay upstairs and they won't get you. They still roam my island, but they can't seem to get me. The sky really is safer. That's it, my wall is complete. Now I can concentrate on something else. Hey JJ, what are you doing in there? Instead of saving me, you're working on the beds. Those magma cubes are gonna hit my island any minute. Mikey, don't forget we're in a competition here. Each of us has to work out our own problems. I realize it's a difficult situation, but if you want to win, you're going to have to deal with it on your own. A competition? Are you serious? My island's on fire, magma cubes are all over the place, and you're planting wheat instead of helping. Well, you know, Mikey, survival is part of the game. If I spend all my resources and time saving you, then who wins? Everyone has to take care of their island and deal with whatever comes their way. Your magma cubes are your job. Mine is these beds. This is unbelievable. But if that's what you think, JJ, I'll find a way to solve it myself. But know that I'll remember this. That's a great attitude, Mikey. After all, this is a competition. Let's see which one of us does the best job. Well, if JJ wants to play by those rules, I'll prove I can handle any situation. After all, I have a head on my shoulders and some resources. I'll figure out how to fight off those magma cubes and save my island. That's the way it's supposed to be, Mikey. Competition is not only about strength, but also about the ability to adapt and survive in any conditions. I'm sure you can do it. Anyway, good luck. Oh, is there another wave? Well, the turrets and the wall should do the trick. And while they're at it, I can take care of my yard. Competition isn't just about defense, it's about comfort. JJ, they're coming again. 
Those magma cubes are coming at my island again, and I'm stuck here with this spider. You can't just leave me like this. Mikey, I have faith in my defense. The turrets will do their job, and I can get on with improving my house. And as for you, you said yourself you could handle it. Use this time to think of a way out. Yeah, but that spider, it's moving again. I'm already trapped on this platform, and now I'm trapped with him. I've got to do something or he's gonna get me. Well, Mikey, this is the perfect time to get creative. Do you have any other resources or ideas? I'm sure you'll find a way out. After all, you've already proven you can be resourceful. You can't even help a friend. I need to figure out a way out of here. I think my patio could use some cookies. Everybody loves cookies. Oh boy, another eruption. These volcanoes are clearly not going to calm down. I hope the turrets and wall can handle it while I put the finishing touches on my patio. I can't believe it. Another wave of magma cubes and an eruption. This whole thing is a nightmare. I'm still stuck here with this spider, and now the eruption is just making it worse. Don't worry, Mikey. I'm sure your decisions will help you get out. Maybe if you try to approach the spider from a different angle, you'll find a way around it. Or maybe try to use your remaining resources in a new way. Or try to tame it. These magma cubes are destroying everything around me, and the spider is hindering me as much as it can. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm still trapped here on this platform. My main concern right now is to keep the magma cubes from breaking through the wall. But I'll still keep an eye on your progress. If anything, I can offer advice or help if you ask for it. Everything seems to be going according to plan. The turrets are working fine and the walls are secure. Now I can get to work on the small details to make my island more cozy. I'm standing on this platform. I can't get down and there are no magma cubes on the island. It's too high to jump and there's not even water to jump into. I don't know how to get out of here. Oh no, I think that volcano is erupting again. I can't let the lava flows destroy everything I've built. We need to build a bunker to protect ourselves from this lava. How stuck I am on this platform. Everything seems to be going from bad to worse. Can't get down and all the while I have to watch JJ build a bunker. At least he finds a way to protect himself from the lava. While I'm building a bunker to protect myself from the lava, you can try again to use your resources. There may be a way to get down from the platform or at least stay safely on it. I've already tried everything I can think of. Building a bridge or platform doesn't work because they're too fragile and the lava flows and spider make it hard for me to concentrate. All attempts to get out are proving fruitless. I realize this is difficult, Mikey. Maybe you should think of other ways to utilize the resources. If you can, try to create something that could help you control the situation better, or at least make it less dangerous. I'm going to try again. Maybe I should make another attempt to build a temporary defense on the platform, or at least find a way to reduce the risk of falling. If I can drive the spider away or build additional defenses, maybe I'll have a chance. I agree. It's important not to lose hope and keep looking for solutions. Keep trying and being creative often leads to results. Good luck to you, Mikey. I hope you can work through your current problems and find a way out of this situation. I will try to strengthen my platform and make it more stable. If I can create some sort of temporary shelter or protective shell, it might give me a chance to descend safely or at least withstand the current situation. It's good that you're not giving up. While I'm finalizing the bunker, it's important that you continue to look for ways to improve your situation. There may be more options for using the remaining blocks or materials. With the finishing touches left in the bunker so I can give my attention to something else, it's obvious that I've won this competition. I doubt you'll be able to catch up with me, Mikey, considering you're stuck on this platform. Don't rush to celebrate victory. I could get out of here and quickly build something that would guarantee me victory. The only thing keeping me from doing so is that you've abandoned me and I can't get down from here to really show my strength. I didn't make you get on that platform, so that's your problem. Now get off it. All right, the bunker's ready. Now we can concentrate on dealing with the magma cubes. I need to get out there and fight them to stop them from destroying everything I've built. How unlucky I am. All this time I've been trying to figure out a way out, but nothing's working. JJ's getting ready to fight, and I'm still stuck here on this platform. Mikey, I see you're still on the platform. While I fight the magma cubes, you can try to find some alternative means of descent. I'm really trying, but I'm almost out of resources and ideas. Building something reliable from what I have seems impossible. Every time I think I've found a solution, it turns out to be insufficient. Almost got through the magma cubes. They were a real problem, of course. 
But now I can consider myself the winner of our competition. All the major tasks are completed, and the island is now in order. Wait a minute, how did you win? That wasn't fair! I'm still stuck on this platform, I can't get out, and I couldn't compete equally at all. That's not fair! Mikey, I realize this is a difficult situation, but our contest was about who could best handle the conditions we chose for ourselves. I too have faced difficulties, but I tried to do my best. I hope you can find your way out and appreciate the effort that was put in. I understand, but I just can't believe that. Because I got stuck, the competition ended this way. I feel like my efforts weren't given due consideration because I didn't get a chance to show what I could do on a level playing field. I apologize if this seems unfair, I really appreciate your patience and the effort you put in. If you want, we can try to work through the situation together and find a solution to make things more fair and equal. I can't get out of here and I'm sitting here with this spider. What am I gonna do? And while Mikey is once again trying to get off the island, I wanna say that I am the winner 